Hey guys, Brad with Family Handyman. We're continuing with our bathroom remodel today. We're going to lay in a raised deck for a freestanding tub and cover that with LVT flooring so it's waterproof. And then we're going to skin the walls with a new product from Wilson Art called Wet Wall. It's about a half inch thick and it's got a wood fiber plastic composite core. The face looks like marble, but it's uh, just a high pressure laminate. It's a totally waterproof installation. It's also a lot easier than tiling and it's cheaper than actual marble, obviously. And it's also super easy. So let's get started. I'm gonna start by building the tub deck. So build the floor deck using two by fours, 16 inches on center, as if you were building a stud wall. I trimmed these two by fours down a little bit so that they'd be the right height. Fasten the subfloor to the framing. Now because this is a bathroom, we also applied a moisture barrier. So we're ready to start laying the flooring. And what I'm gonna do first is lay it out across here, just in case I have to trim the first piece so that when I end up over at the shower, I don't end up with a skinny piece there. Next step is putting the flooring down. Install the LVT flooring starting in a corner of the room. This floating, click together LVT installs quickly and easily. No glue and no nails or staples. Next, apply stair nosing to cover the edge of the deck flooring. Then, apply flooring to the front face of the tub deck using construction adhesive. All right, so we got the tub deck done. Now it's time to start with the wet wall. And we don't even need any fasteners for that at all. We just apply it with this special adhesive. The tongue and groove joint on these wet wall panels makes them come together really nice and uh, leave an almost invisible seam. This will give us the look of marble without the cost of marble. Next, clean the back of each panel as well as the wall itself. Apply adhesive to the back of the panels according to the manufacturer's recommendation. To install the panels, press the first panel into place. Apply a bead of color matched seam sealer to the tongue on the panel, then apply adhesive to the back of the next panel and install it. These joints are tight, so have a helper, and tile setting suction cups are also a big help. Now it's time to cut holes for the shower fixtures. So measure and lay them out carefully, and you can cut them with a hole saw or a jigsaw. And you'll continue this process until the walls are all completed. To finish up, apply a bead of seam sealer to the corners where the wall panels meet. Wet Wall has color match sealer for all of its products. For outside corners, you can order Wet Wall with a bullnose edge. We chose to trim our outside corners around the shower with one inch aluminum angle applied with construction adhesive. All in all, I think we've created a pretty relaxing space here. For more bathroom remodeling tips, visit us at familyhandyman.com.